was a common sight in the 80s and 90s. Not quite as frequent since, but it's back. Playoff football in the Bay Area here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight we continue with Wild Card Weekend with what should be a great one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. Win or go home is the mantra, and off we go. We're underway in this NFC Wild Card game. Oh, the return, Boston Scott. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Is a first and ten at the 14-yard line. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Hurts. Dancing to his left. The Sanders has got it complete. Room here to run. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Eight yards to go on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Buying time to his left. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Here's Hurts to throw. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Play fake for Sermon. Now Lance checks it down to Sermon out of the backfield. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed...
against him. <laughs> it would have been a, been a story. long night. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Being chased out left. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. We know they have these RPOs in their playbook, and look, we're seeing it here in the first quarter. You think we're going to see it as the game continues? They trotted them out early for a reason, partner. They're letting them know that this is in the arsenal, and we rely on it. You better be prepared because this is going to be an all-day affair trying to stop them. And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Well, Charles, you talk about this offense, and you think about the man in charge, their head coach, this marking his first ever playoff game as the head coach, and you wonder what's going through his mind right about now. Brandon, I think we both agree that he's had a great season, and we wouldn't be surprised at all to see him get plenty of Coach of the Year votes. I thought he took the right tone in his weekly press conference, though. Played it cool, took the reserved angle, and when you don't have the track record, I think that's the exact right way to do it. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. From the gun on third down, Lance winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, 49ers. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield. And that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. Point after try, forthcoming. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. They've been a come from behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. Airing it out deep for Smith. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the San Fran 20. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Second and ten. On the draw, Gainwell. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Kenneth Gainwell. 
a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On first and 10, here's Lance. Now Lance unable to escape and down he goes. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Lance, he'll dump this off to Sermon complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. 29 is the mic. Mike 29. Bring it. Wait, wait. Ready, Lance now to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep, Daz Newsom. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Forced out to his left. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. That one covers 29 yards, first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. 
Good running right there. And this is a man who was a thousand yard rusher in the regular season. So you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Here's second and a yard. On the handoff, Gainwell. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. I'm going from back to you. I'm going from back to you. Mike's by four, Mike's by four, Mike's by four. They go play action with Hertz. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Second and ten. Throwing his hurts. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Hurts. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Either not, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. After the sack on first down, Lance, the first catch of the game for George Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers! And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is a guy who runs with such balance and control. I mean, he went through that early contact just like he was driving over a speed bump. And he's able to continue his way downfield and wind up in the end zone. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back, trying to cover. Couldn't get there in time. Well scripted. They had the big running play, now the big passing play. On first and ten, it's game well. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second and a couple, Hurts to the goal line, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incompletion here now, third and two. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll run with Sanders. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Second down and goal. Hurts. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Maurice Hurst in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. This is a big play in this wild card matchup. Facing third and goal. Hurts sets up to throw it. Flushed out right. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Watch the shift. Watch the shift. Watch out now. On play action, Lance got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing on first down is Lance. This will be caught once again by Brown. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 45 on second down, Lance. This to the outside, it's Sermon. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. A final shot before half for Lance. Steps away to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter. What's been a tight contest so far. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitors would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football, they were very confident coming in. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Lance, a give now to Sermon. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Now Lance drops this one down to Sermon. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. So great throw right there. And what a regular season this rookie had, piloting this offense, guiding them to a division title. And they get the home date here in round one of the playoffs. But Charles, how do you think they'll play it here? Will they run the same kind of wide open? It got his man complete. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. The defense, they weren't fooled on that post route. They just couldn't make the play. And the offense definitely tried to fool them because you saw the other route combinations, didn't you? Anything that they were running trying to draw attention away from the deep part of the field, but still had it covered, yet they were able to come up with a nice play. Sermon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Trey Sermon taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is up to eight. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Escaping the pressure right. This is Smith with a grab. 
And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Very nicely done there on the reception. And what an impact this rookie made on this offense, Charles, in the regular season. Yeah, he's a big part of why they are where they are. He stepped into an important role, embraced it, and in a lot of ways expanded it and immediately made a connection with his quarterback. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. That'll be caught. Rager with it. A gain of six there on first. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 29-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Hurts eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Play action. Here's Hertz. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, Lance completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Now a handoff, Sermon. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now it's second and nine. Lance looking to throw it. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Ryan Kerrigan in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time.
Uh, did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. And he'll take this up to about the 7 or 8 yard line. 52 yards on the ground for him so far. But both teams practice this situation. And this time, the guys on offense won and in a very nice way. What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave him some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage or do you play normal defense? They may have backed him off with that run. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now back to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Hertz to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought? That had to be. Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. <laughs> Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, oh, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And this one's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. on third down lacking much success just two for seven to this point this is third and ten throwing from the gun it's hurts that swung out wide to sanders and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that he'll wind up being stopped for no gain and it'll lead to a fourth down not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. 
They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Sermon now on first and ten. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, Sermon. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And they will be backed up deep. Trouble here as they're going to start this drive at the six. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Jarquiski Tart, and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And they'll begin on the ground with Gainwell. Gainwell a first down and more. And down right around the 37. 79 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his right. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. Dancing to his left. 
Hurts fumbles it. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble is kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing is ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And they'll run with Sermon to begin the drive. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A nice run right there. And we talk this time of year about certain teams, certain players who don't have a lot of postseason history to speak of. And here's a man right here in his rookie season in the NFL, and he's being asked to carry the load at running back for this offense. And he has acquitted himself nicely here in his rookie year. And look, I think we both believe that the Burton's a little lighter on backs and receivers than it is on quarterbacks in the playoffs. But that's not to say this is going to be easy. As fast as the NFL game is in the regular season, it's like warp speed when you turn the pressure up in the postseason. So let's see how he handles things early. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On second down, another shot for Sermon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And a disappointing way to close out the season. He got into the playoffs but couldn't really make any noise. Still a good season. Some might call it a great season when they get away from it a little bit. But they also will all look at their own errors, their own mistakes, and wonder how they could have played a little bit.